What's up everyone? I'm Royal Rebel, and in this video I am doing something a little bit different than I've ever done. I am unboxing a wig I've had sitting in my house for almost a year. It's a little bit of backstory. Um, so I had plans to do a couple different versions of Sailor Moon. Like I've got, so none of them are like canon outfits, but I've got like three, four different tops that I had that are related to Sailor Moon. One I got from the Kigu stop. I got a couple things from Box Lunch. And so like my plan this year was to actually like do Sailor Moon. Like this year our cosplay was totally supposed to be Sailor Moon, but you know, I was not prepared for what it's like to become a new mom. So I ordered I ordered this wig based off of the style guide that Arta Wigs had on their store. I don't know if it's still up there. I'll try and find a link for it. Um, if they do. But yeah, so like a year ago I ordered this wig and it sat. It is sat and I haven't done anything with it. So I thought, why not why not unbox it? Why not see what happens when an art of wig sits in its box for a year? Um I don't think it's gonna be all that exciting, but I mean I have this, so why not make content around it? Um also just like a heads up, I am simultaneously filming for TikTok at the same time. I'm experimenting with something uh, just to see how this works out. Why is this not opening? Ah! Do they glue it and tape? Oh my god, they glue it and tape it at the same time. All right. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I like cut through the box. I'm like trying to open this in like three different ways. Ah! just rip the box open that's fine it's okay all right so basically this is going to be five pieces of a wig I have the base wig I have the puffs and then I have the long tails so that's what should be in this box if not I am way beyond a return policy but oh my gosh all right stuff's already starting to come out so we have our buns there's one bun there's two bun. I don't even actually remember the color I ordered this stuff in. Pale blonde, that's right. I did pale blonde. Um, I don't think I was really trying to color match to my skin. I honestly think of the options that were available in blonde, this is the one that I like the most. Okay, so this one does have a little bit of a pigtail. You can kind of see it on, on both sides of the wig. And then we have our long clippy clips. Oh my gosh, they're so long. I'm actually kind of- this is why- it's actually like a big reason why this thing sat in a box for so long is I actually get a lot of anxiety about long cosplay wigs. Um, like the last time I wore my Yumiko Jabami out in public, I- <laughs> I got so overwhelmed because it was so long and it happened to be really windy at that con. And the, the convention I go to was at two separate buildings, and so the transport between the two separate buildings was closed because of COVID. So yeah, I was just, I was overwhelmed. I'm not usually a fan of long wigs, but I love Sailor Moon so much. And I will probably end up tagging this artist, because I have to look them up again um, when I make com content. But there was an artist who did, an, like, their version of Sailor Moon as Chunky, because, like, a lot of her traits and stuff like that, it makes sense that she's a little chubby. So like, why not? Um, but I'm gonna go like put this all together and we're gonna see how she looks after sitting for a year in my bedroom. Okay, so I'm actually in the middle of putting this wig on, but I just happened to notice this detail and I wanted to share it with you guys because I actually haven't seen this in an Arta wig before. Granted, I've only ordered from them one time, but like, so not only do they have the strappy bits, but they also have like the clips that go into your hair which is like super nice like because that'll that'll help keep it more uh tight like normally I would have like bobby pins everywhere like I'll bobby pin my wig cap and then I'll bobby pin the wig just to give that extra stability but like I don't even think I need bobby pins for the wig because it's got combs in the front and the back so just a fun little detail okay I'm like about halfway putting this wig on mostly just because I realize that like I am gonna have to put this wig together like I feel like on a mannequin and then put it on my head. Obviously, like, I'm gonna have to style it, um, but, like, I also just wanted to show a little bit of what I did because this is my first time. Also, sorry, my head's gonna lean. I did not, I didn't really know how heavy this was gonna be. <laughs> um, so basically what I did was I, I 
so I would normally pin this. I just don't have bobby pins on me, but I twisted it up like this and then put the bun on top. Realistically, if you're doing this, you don't need the hair buns because like if you properly secure this ponytail, like that gives you the puff that you need. So I might not even use, like I might not even use these buns because like I also kind of like the look of this tied up better. Um, and then I just placed the long clip behind it. But holy cow, if you are not prepared for a heavy wig, like this is heavy. Maybe it like balances out. Um, maybe it balances out like if I have both of them on my head, but like, cause that's why I'm kind of like being pulled to the side. But I'm I'm really happy with this, this wig and how this came out and how this looks right now. Obviously like I need to do styling like because her, her bangs usually like puff up more or like they're teased. Um, I'm just going to be very careful with this because um, all these pieces all together are like $120 um, when I bought this and I don't think anything was on sale. So like this is the Chibi Classic. I have Long Clips Classic and then Hair Buns Classic. Um, again, like whatever blonde color works best for you if you're interested in getting like a Sailor Moon wig. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you do go with the Chibi Classic, I think it might be better for your head to just like use the ponytail that you have do like the little like twist and style on it and like secure it that way um i think that'll save some weight on your head also i think it looks i just think it looks better like not that i hate the buns but it's just a little big because it's this stuffed with this on top of it so it is bigger um but yeah, I'm kind of sad I've let this thing sit. I do need to treat the long hair because I feel like I can already feel it tangling. So I got to find some like silicone spray, treat this. Um, but yeah, so this is what a wig looks like after it's been sitting in a box for nearly a year. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more cosplay content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content.